So here we are about to fire up the GEC gas fire for the first time. You can see that our inner vessel is empty for now. We've got some wood chips we've been drying and some lump uh, charcoal that we're going to put in the bottom and we're going to try to use some denatured alcohol as our fuel. So as you can see right here we have put charcoal in the reaction bell. This nozzle here is going to be shooting out our pilot flame and each of these injectors is supplying oxygen to the reaction vessel. Now we're going to fill it with wood chips. So we filled the vessel with dry wood chips. We're putting our gasket on now. We're going to place the lid on. We're going to do a final check over and then we're going to light her up and see what happens. So we're checking to see what kind of pressure we're getting, how many inches of uh, water we got in our manometer. We're going to turn on the air pressure now. So we're reading about nine inches. Should be enough to start this bad boy up. Go ahead. Hold on, man. We got a propane? Is this real? Oh, there we go. So we have just officially lit our GEC for the first time. You can see we're getting some really clean looking hot fire in there. Got over here, we're running about four inches of column here. I'm gonna shut off our inlet to our um, light lighting port. It lit up real fast. You can see our temperature gauge down here. We're at 110, 11, 12. We're climbing real steady. What do you say, Ethan? I think it looks pretty good, man. I think this is pretty cool. All right, so our temperature now is skyrocketing. We're up 320, 330, 340. We just had a little puff back. Uh, we're not exactly sure, we're trying to bleed in a little less oxygen, but we're definitely producing gas. There's no doubt about it. This vessel is cool to the touch. The lid is relatively cool to the touch. You can see our drum down here is full of gas. Um, so How do you feel about that puffing sound? The what? The thumping? Yeah. yeah. I don't know. So I, I kind of like the way that looks, yeah. but that's bluer, it's a hotter flame you got yeah. there. So what does it say again about the tar in the, like the, how the gas, I know. So what if you bleed back on the... We're going to hit 1,000 degrees. We're going to hit 1,000 degrees. All right. This thing is not hot to the touch. Really? Yeah. Which is how it's supposed to be. That's when crazy. that gets hot, that means you're getting low on fuel. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. <laughs> How did that happen? So I think to shut it off, you close that valve, right? Uh -huh. And that'll keep it from flying back in here and doing things. But it will build up pressure in here. So yeah. I don't think you want to cut. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, that close. We're up to 1,200 degrees. Jesus. Steel melts at 2,600. Okay. Loses all strength above about 1,000 <laughs> degrees. Like, it's really not very strong above 1,000 degrees. This is a really amazing thing we got going on here. It's still just shooting up. Look at that. 
Is that denatured alcohol moved away? All over there. Like the yeah. Behind me. <laughs> yeah. Appreciate it. Now, should we close this? Uh, no. You need oxygen to get in there for the vest for it to work. But then we want to we want to make gas without oxygen, though, don't we? No, you have to have air going in to. I'm almost positive. We're getting some interesting smells here. Yeah. We're up to 1,330 degrees. Okay. What does it say about shut down? That's what I want to know. I want to know. Because eventually we're going to run out of fuel. I'm going to give this a little. We've leveled off at 1,320 degrees. We're dropping back down now. Okay. I think that's a really good sign. Yeah. I think that if we see another temperature increase, that's going to tell us that we're running low on fuel. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh, we're down to 1300 almost. Practically Arctic. <laughs> Didn't like that. But you know, it's it's pretty incredible. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Pretty incredible. We built this thing. There's a lot of a lot of energy in that flame yeah. right there. Yeah. Uh, I kind of want to open this up and see what it's looking like in there. Okay. All right. What kind of uh, dangers are we looking at with opening that up? I mean, we're not going to get a smoke coming out of here. What is yeah. That our gas, our our stuff getting darker down there. Yeah. It smells tarry. All right, right, we're raised. Our temperature's going back up. I would. I'm starting to think we. Uh, our our combustion is moving up the column here. Yeah. We have wing nuts for this. Yeah, we do need wing nuts. So why don't I open that? Sure. What happens? Yeah. I'm not exactly sure what happens. Wow. Oh, look at all that tar. All right, we need to push more fuel 